It's time for The Scoop! Your weekly dose of gaming news highlights from all around the gaming universe. Perhaps even the gaming multiverse? <laughs> Who's to say? Now, let's see what's been making news. Starting off with reports that Nintendo plans to release an upgraded Switch model next year. <gasps> Earlier this year, Nintendo quashed rumors about a new Switch model in 2020, but it seems 2021 could be the year it's released. It's suggested the new model will be a more powerful, even 4K-capable version of the Switch, accompanied by some new major games. We'll certainly keep an eyeball out for more on that front. On to some other news from the gaming world now. And Gamescom is another one of the world's big gaming conventions to take its event online. Highlights from this year's virtual convention include news that the second season for the stumble away hit Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout, due out in October, will have a medieval theme with new stages and outfits. We caught a more in-depth look at some Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart PS5 gameplay, Deets about the new Crash Bandicoot game, the reveal of a new Sam and Max VR game, and a new trailer for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, but also a new 2021 release date. And Sea of Thieves is adding canine companions. Arr! Who's a good boy, me hearties? Arr! Ye salty sea dogs, ye heart! Arr! 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 Finally, for this week, we have the news of more third-party games coming to the Switch. A surprise Nintendo Mini Direct announced a bunch of games, from a sequel for Puyo Puyo Tetris to online tank sim World of Tanks Blitz. And we saw a medley of musical offerings, like the virtual music festival game Fuser from the makers of Rock Band, new adventures in the rhythmic drumming world of Taiko no Tatsujin, and more on the upcoming Kingdom Hearts rhythm game, Melody of Memory. Plus, the announcement of Just Dance 2021, due out in November. I'm going to start warming up my moves now. <gasps> it's time now for the Extra Scoop! And speaking of busting moves, a streamer known as Sarah Key has defeated the challenging optional boss fight with Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts using a dance mat. This follows on from her recent dancing feat, completing Kingdom Hearts 2 by cutting a rug. <gasps> what a dancing queen! <laughs> And that's all for The Scoop this week. Who knows what other exciting gaming scoops are still on the horizon in this universe and beyond?